Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of August. So we haven't hit August yet. This is being recorded in July, so a lot of you will watch this in July. Um, but this is for August, and I'm going to reiterate that again because we get a lot of people that don't understand. This is a preview per se, okay? The timing is fluid. I'll get people that comment, this isn't for me. Well, the timing, you know, hasn't happened yet. So, we're going to start right here. What do we have for August? And even if you watch it in August, it could happen in September. The timing is fluid, okay? Could happen in July. But don't, don't just think it's not for you, okay? What do we have for August for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Intuition. So, this is going within... Uh, listening to yourself, needing to listen to yourself, needing to follow your gut, listen to yourself and listen to yourself only. You're probably going to be receiving some signs. Make sure you're paying attention to the signs. Um, I feel as though you will be really feeling, you'll be feeling things, feeling, 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 because I just want to keep saying that. So when I, when something pokes me, it's, it means that I need to say it. And so every word that comes out of my mouth is part of this reading. You're going to be poked. You're going to be poked to say something. Okay? So you speak up. Whatever you're, whatever, speak up. Okay? Listen to your thoughts. Listen to your gut and speak up. Okay? Um, you may be getting um, support from a counselor or from... A psychic or a medium or a tarot reader or a healer or whatever as well. So somebody may be giving you some sort of advice. You may want, this is somebody that is very spiritual. Or you are the one. Somebody may be seeking you out for spiritual advice. This is a card of uh, receiving messages from somebody. Either it's from within yourself or from somebody else. That is very divinely guided. Okay. So this is divine guidance. All right, that's the high priestess. Um, for some of you, you may be choosing to be alone during this month. You just want to be alone to reflect, to reflect on all the thoughts and the messages and the uh, uh, things that are happening in your life. You may just choose to, you know, be alone, maybe to re-identify. Um, oh, here we go, we got two cards. Maybe you're going on a new spiritual journey or you're becoming more spiritual. A few more cards. Two more. One more. Yeah, one more is good. What do we got for Aquarius? Success. Success. Success comes from within, by the way. You know what is going to bring you success. Do not doubt yourself. Highly intuitive this month, for sure. Scissors disappointment in some affair dog close up pleasure with a close friend desk pay attention to your work goldfish increase in material wealth or spiritual growth and that makes sense because we have spiritual growth right here so a lot of you are developing your intuition more your your spirituality is uh growing right um you really need to pay attention to your work and paying attention to your work is going to bring you success now this does have to do with wealth you will probably be at seeing an increase in your abundance okay your your um material wealth okay you're going to be seeing an increase in your material wealth because of your ability to follow your intuition and to listen to yourself so a clear message i have is if you want to bring success uh material material wealth to your life make sure you're listening to yourself nobody else okay um which is interesting so um Pleasure with a close friend and disappointment in some affair. Now, these two I'm keeping together, which is interesting. I put these down and I kept these two together. So, you may be having pleasure with a close friend, but there's gonna it could lead to some sort of disappointment. 
Okay, somebody, there's somebody, somebody that is pretty, and it can be a man. We have pretty boys and we have pretty girls. Okay, so this is somebody that looks really good. They're really pretty, but it's going to lead to some sort of disappointment. I think that you do need to be careful. I do. Um, what do we have for Aquarius for the month of August? Oh my God, the Knight of Swords. And that is, oh my God, somebody moving very, very fast. This is a sudden arrival. Somebody coming in really fast could be a sudden departure. This is being very assertive, having no fear. Um, somebody throwing themselves or rushing. They're rushing, rushing, rushing in into your life or they're in a hurry. Somebody is definitely in a hurry. Need to slow down. You definitely need to slow down. This is a perfectionist, Okay. Um, somebody that is very focused, has their mind made up, they, they want something and there's no stopping this person, it could be you. You may be in a hurry, you may be in a hurry and you probably need to slow down. Um, this is moving very, very, very fast. Um, it's like there's no time to waste. There is no time to waste. Hmm. Uh-oh, and I was going to clarify that. So we get the world reversed. Now, the world reversed is uh, unfinished business, a lack of closure, lack of success. Moving too fast will not bring you success. Somebody's not learning from their mistakes. The, the world reversed is not learning from mistakes. Somebody is stuck in the present. They are. They're, they're refusing to explore new avenues. There's, there's a need to explore new avenues. Definitely, because that is the sword of a new idea. Coming up with a new idea and wanting to move fast. But you've got to complete that other cycle first. Because this is a lack of completion. A lack of success. You know, make sure you're not repeating the same mistakes over by wanting to move too fast into something. Give time to think about your goals. And this is realizing goals, okay? And this is this is not reaching a goal because of, you know, a being in a hurry. Takes a time out. Take a time out to reflect on, you know, a plan, whatever it is. Really pay attention to your work. Pay attention to how you're going to make yourself successful, Okay? Don't, don't rush into anything. Interesting. Page of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, rushing leads to loss. You need to think. And this is some. I think that you're very analytical. You're very smart. But when you move too fast, you, call, you get yourself into trouble. Okay? This does lead to trouble. Moving too fast leads to trouble. Anyway, the Page of Pentacles reverse is a lack of foresight or a lack of goals, not planning effectively, no planning, uh, not following through. Uh, if you if you don't if you don't set a real goal, you know, and you don't uh, be practical about it, this is not practical. It's unrealistic. Somebody that drops out, you know, at the beginning because you you didn't think about it, you know. You have to really, really, really plan. Plan effectively. That's why that pay attention to your work is here. This this month, you're going to need to come up with a plan and slow your ass down by the looks of it. Um, this world card reversed is an attitude adjustment is needed. It is. You need to take a new approach. And it and I think it has to do with slowing down and thinking about things. The, the high priestess thinks a very big thinker, reflection. The Page of Pentacles reversed is something blocking. There's something of blocking you from achieving your goals. And it's, um, maybe it's being obsessive. Maybe it's being a perfectionist. Maybe it's being in a hurry. It's moving too fast, trying to be ahead of the rest. You know, debating. The, 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 the Knight of Swords is a debater. You know, um... Throwing yourself in really, really fast without being realistic, without having a plan. There's no plan here. 
This is this is where somebody has become lazy and complacent after being in a hurry. It's it, this is when it fails to launch because you didn't think about it first. Interesting. Oh my God. Two of Pentacles reversed. Now that is uh, lacking balance. Somebody's bitten off more than they can chew. Uh, no contingency plan. Again, no plan. Somebody didn't didn't plan effectively. So there could be financial loss here. You really need to pay attention to your actions. This is definitely action oriented, and you need to do something differently. This is about coming up with a new perspective. This the world card reverse is repeating the same, doing the same things over and over and over again. Okay, you, there's something you need to do differently if you want your wealth or your abundance to grow, and it does have to do with listening, reflecting, taking a time out, disappointment. There's some sort of disappointment here that you need to stop. You need to cut something out of your life. You may be overspending even. Um, this is financial loss, both of these. This is financial loss due to uh, sudden movements, moving. It's sudden. Be acting very fast. Being too assertive. Hierophant. Hierophant is about commitment. Committing yourself. You need to commit yourself to success. And that's, that is, you know, this is lack of success, but this is commitment. This is a new approach. That Ace of Swords is taking a new approach. You need to commit yourself to taking a new approach. But this is refusing to leave the past behind, staying in the present, not changing. This is this is what you're resisting change. It is not changing my ways. I'm going to keep doing things the way that I've always done them. And well, that hasn't led to success. But this is you need to commit yourself to a new perspective. The Hierophant is also about listening to your gut. You're probably going to be poked. You are going to be poked by another idea. It's like you're going to be given another idea. They're going to give you an, an option, okay, in your head. They're going to give you some new approach, okay, this new idea. You are being called to listen to it and to do it, okay? You are being called to do it, but I wouldn't suggest rushing into it without a plan. You need to come up with a plan. Otherwise, you're going to lose, this is overextending yourself. Somebody may be overextending themselves, doing too much. You know, slow down. Take a minute. Take a minute. Take a minute. Take a minute. Um, now, the Hierophant is um, access to God or access to a higher power. It's a mentor or a spiritual teacher giving you some sort of advice. Okay, this is somebody that is very spiritual, that is giving you some sort of advice. But this is not listening. Not listening. And it could be your own gut. Not listening to advice. So you're not listening to anybody, right? This is, this is my mind is made up. I'm going to do it my way. It's my way. It's my way. So if you don't listen to any advice, even your own advice from inside, then, you know, this is a fail. This is a fail. Interesting. Um... Ooh, Ten of Cups reversed. Now, the Ten of Cups reversed is a dying dream. It is. Okay. Uh, it's not happy. Somebody may be in a relationship or a commitment that isn't really happy. They're not happy in this commitment. They're not. But they, but there could be some financial ties to this commitment that is keeping somebody uh, there keeping somebody there and this commitment could be what well, looks like it's a relationship to me it's an unhappy relationship there could be children involved that's why somebody is hanging on um, you really need to speak up you need to speak up you need to listen you need and it feels like a lot of you are being guided you're being guided to uh, follow your gut but you're not doing it you're not doing it you're staying in a place, and this is this is lack of success. You're in an unsuccessful relationship. 
okay? That is that is holding you down. It's holding you down. And you maybe you're staying in it because of social pressure or because there's a marriage or because there's some sort of commitment put to that. But this is, I feel like you want to, I think it's a dead end. I think that you want to let it go. But you need to, you need to listen. You, and you're refusing to listen to yourself. It's like you're not, you're refusing to let go of this unhappy relationship. Because of social pressure. There is social pressure here. There's too much resistance. What do we have for August for Aquarius? Ah, Ace of Swords, Reverse. Somebody's not being honest with themselves. There's definitely a lack of clarity, um, not being truthful, and it feel, feeling powerless, feeling powerless. And, and somebody's feeling powerless because of money. It's, it is because of money. It's because it could be fear, you know, of loss of money. You may be trying to protect your money, protect your income, protect your assets. That Ace of Swords is not being honest. Somebody's not being honest in the relationship. Not being honest in the relationship. They're not happy at all. But they don't have... This is like a financial mess. Feeling very, very overwhelmed. So we definitely have somebody here that is feeling overwhelmed. There even could be some sort of... It feels like you're being pushed to listen to your gut. You are, this is being pushed. It's like you're being pushed to listen to your gut, to, to accept the truth, to speak the truth, to be honest with yourself, but you're not listening. But in your belt, you are being poked really, really bad this month. You're going to be poked. You're going to be receiving all kinds of messages and signs that say, listen, listen, listen. This is, this is like no success. This is not learning from your past mistakes, not wanting to accept and allow that something is over the world card reverse. It's like you don't want to accept it. You don't want to allow it. Four of Cups reverse. Now that is seizing a new opportunity. You, I feel like there is somebody else. I feel like there's somebody else that you are interested in. And um, I think that you have wasted plenty of time uh in your current commitment whatever it is you've wasted a lot of time and i think it's caused a lot of 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 sadness within you i think that you um have moped you've wallowed you've thought about it for a long time i think it's definitely time for you to honor your truth it is it's time for you to speak your truth stop keeping it a secret be honest with yourself please be honest with the other person there is another opportunity here. There is. But you're disappointed because you can't go with that other opportunity because you're committed to something else. Listen. Listen. Okay? Listen to your gut. Do what's right for you. Be honest with yourself. I know I keep repeating myself because you keep repeating this cycle that needs to end. Okay? Anyhow. Um, oh my God. Five of Cups. So this is grieving, wallowing, self-pity. There is another opportunity for love waiting for you to take it. But you're focusing on something that isn't making you happy. Why? Why? Because of social pressure? I think that you are really going through a difficult period. And it's not just because of social pressure, it's because of money. It's because of finances, because of assets. Worried about what you're going to lose. There is definitely another opportunity for love that is being ignored. And you want it. I know that you want it. I think that you are very interested in this close friend. That is probably more than a friend. But because of this this commitment that you're in, you are you're flogging this dead course. Okay, this is a dead end because of social pressure. This is a new beginning. Okay, this is a fresh start, leaving it all behind. 
getting interested. You are very, very interested in somebody else. You have a new beginning here, but it will require you to leave it the past behind. You can't take any of that with you. It's time to go. This is it's time to go. It's time to take a risk. It is. And you may have already engaged in some risky behavior with whoever this close friend is. Okay, but I think it is 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 it's definitely time. It's time for you to leave the past behind. It's time for you to stop wasting time because you have been you've been moping and wallowing and you know feeling guilty and all that for wanting out of this. But I think it's time for you to honor your truth. Okay, but anyway, this is letting it all go. This is replacing your fear with faith and stepping into unknown territory. Seizing, taking the new opportunity. So there is a chance this month that you may decide to just leave this unhappy situation behind. Okay, because this is truly starting fresh with a clean slate. It is leaving it behind. It's, it's saying goodbye. It is saying goodbye to a dead end, okay? Probably towards the end of the month. And I think it is towards the end of the month because you go through this period of back and forth with this Two of Pentacles. That's a lot of uh, back and forth, okay? You've been going back and forth for quite some time with this whole situation. But you've been in, this is denial, been not being honest, and it's caused you a lot of grief. It has. I think this, this relationship probably you know, died a long time ago. Could be five years ago. Could be 10 years ago. I don't know. Could be, I don't know, whenever. Could be two months ago. Um, anyhow, um, this is starting fresh with a clean slate. This is a new beginning. But that's after you end the current chapter that you that you're in, which you haven't done, because this is this is the the world card reversed is 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 staying put in a situation that isn't successful. Okay, this is this is deciding to leave it behind. Okay, ending that chapter, ending that phase, and starting a new journey. So I feel like this month you will be finding the. Uh, well, I was like finding you may be pushed. It feels like you're pushed. You're being pushed by the divine because of the Hierophant and the High Priestess. It's like your gut is saying, just go. Yeah, it's risky. Yeah, it's scary. Do it. Just do it. This is freedom. The fool is about freedom. It's freedom from an unhappy situation. It's really, really free. I'm free. I'm free. Taking a risk. I think by the end of the month, you are going to... Uh, take a big risk. And I think you're going to leave something behind. I think it's a very, I think it's a quick decision. I think it's an impulsive decision. It's like all of a sudden, all of a sudden you just go with it. You just go with your gut and you, you step into unknown territory. And it feels like you say goodbye. Uh, you say goodbye to somebody. I do. I feel like you're saying goodbye. Or to a situation that just hasn't fulfilled you. It hasn't. And you've thought about it and you've moped over it and you've cried over it and you've overanalyzed it for a long time. It's affected your work. It's affected your job. And I think that you're really worried about your prosperity. And that's probably why you have continued to stay. But I think you get this new mindset. That's what this is. That says, you know what? There's more to, there's more to uh, life than this. I think you are headed towards love, okay? Because we got the Queen of Cups on the bottom. And I was going to put it right here. So you're headed towards love. True love, real love. You're following your heart and listening to your intuition this month. I also feel like you, 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 maybe you, you've got a water sign that you're interested in. Doesn't have to be a water sign, but somebody that is very, very loving could be a counselor, could be a healer, could be a nurse. This is somebody that is very gentle and kind and caring and compassionate. Um, does it could be a male or a female, but it's somebody that is very, um, loving. Okay. Anyhow, um, I think this month you are going to be um, stepping into new territory. 
that you have been fearful to step into because of a previous commitment. Yeah, I think you, I think so. So anyway, Aquarius, I do see a new beginning here. I see you seizing a new opportunity for love, taking it. A new opportunity that you are, this is taking a new opportunity that you are going to love. After being in a situation that was not happy. Some of you are moving. You're moving. Or somebody's moving. Getting rid of everything else. It's like taking it all. Take it all. Get rid of it. I don't want any of it. Take it all. None of it. It's We're done. You could be dealing with somebody who was flogging a dead horse. They were keeping you trapped. They were keeping you stuck. And you just make a decision to say, you know what? Take it all. No more. I'm done. Good luck. 